What's up everyone? We're gonna try something a little different today. My landlord just replaced my electric stove recently. Uh, so we're gonna apply Art to Shine Nano Graphene Coating on the painted surface and the Fine Lab Window Coating on the glass parts. I just figured this would be a fun project to do uh, on this new stove. I wanted to see if my paint depth gauge worked on the stove and uh, apparently it does. So. This part up top reads zero, so it must not be like a painted material, probably like black glass or something like that. And then this uh, has all kinds of readings, which is most likely single stage paint with no clear coat. So since it's brand new, I'm just gonna do a prep spray here using uh, Pro J's prep spray. So I'm just gonna spray it on the surface. And then I've got all these microfiber towels over here, which I'm gonna use to wipe it up. These are some towel samples I ordered to towards uh, my new towel business I'm hopefully going to be starting up soon. So we're testing these out to see how they do wiping stuff down. Unfortunately, a lot of them left residue behind because some of them had stickers on them and I pulled them off but didn't wash them yet. Now for the glass portion, I'm just gonna spray the prep spray. I don't wanna polish the stove uh, with the, the polish they give you. So uh, I'm sure it'll work just fine as it is. So now I'm gonna prime my applicator pad with the Art to Shine Nano Graphene Coating. Uh, this coating is a PDMS. Thing or SM base and then uh, it has reduced graphene oxide in it so not actual graphene it seems people think uh, that they're putting actual graphene that needs to be heated to 600 degrees to melt down and uh, they're just sprinkling powder into coatings as uh, some people say but this is reduced graphene oxide and there's like 0 0.002 grams or 0 0.02 grams of, uh, gra of the graphene in there I believe is what they said um, so, but it works really well on cars. Uh, I know that because I've used the another brand of graphene that is very similar to this coating. And I am eager to see how it helps with maintaining this new stove top. After applying the coating, I'm gonna go over it with a damp towel. This helps to level the product and make it easier to remove. Then I'll take my first uh, dry buffing towel after that and buff the surface clean. <clears throat> and we're gonna go over it with another towel afterwards. Right off the bat, this doesn't feel super slick yet. So I'm gonna do a second layer later to see if that makes any improvement. I think I mentioned earlier that there was residue being left behind by some of these towels, so um, I went over it again with another wet towel because after doing that first initial uh, dry wipe, there was smearing and stuff everywhere and it looked like there was some adhesive residue. So I went over it again with a wet towel and am using a different towel to do another dry buff right now. then I had to pull down the light so I could check my work and make sure we were getting all the product off. So 
now I'm going to apply the Fine Lab window coating. I have a little bit of this left. My girlfriend is very mad because I was told her I was going to use this to ceramic coat her new glasses. And then uh, that was like three months ago. So, uh, and instead I'm using it on the stove. So I'm going to wipe this on and then this is going to sit for like at least like 30 minutes or so before we wipe it off. It's supposed to sit for 45, but I don't feel like waiting that long because it's the day off and we've got plans. The lower part of my stove is the same, or the uh, underneath the oven tray is uh, the same as the painted top surface. So I'm going to put the uh, Arctoshine graphene on this as well. And I just realized I forgot to remove the blue tape on the side. Let's do that real quick before we finish wiping this on. Gotta lay on the floor for this. I'm gonna repeat the same steps with the moist towel and then wiping it dry. So before we take a break here, I'm just gonna see if the stove is hydrophobic at all, which, uh, like I said, it wasn't feeling really slick earlier on that first layer, and it's not really all that hydrophobic at the moment. So we will have to come back, put that second layer on, and see if things change. So it's been almost 30 minutes, so I'm gonna buff off the window coating on the glass, which it's amazing that after 30 minutes, it just wipes off like nothing. Pretty much feels like you're wiping wax off, basically. This stuff is incredible. Out, we're gonna do layer number two of the nano graphene coating up here so I'm gonna get the pad nice and drippy again and then we're gonna wipe it on and make sure we get as much coverage as possible it is always recommended that you do at least two layers with most coatings and that's not because it stacks on top of each other it's because most people miss areas and you don't get coating everywhere so this is just to ensure that you really got the car good by or in this case stovetop by applying two layers so i'm again going to come around with that wet towel and then go after it with a dry towel after that Now we're going to do some uh, free IR curing, as I call it, and heat up the stove and turn on the oven and uh, bake this coating in. I don't really believe in IR curing coatings, but can't hurt to try it's on the stove top. So here is the uh, hydrophobic test. Those are some pretty big beads with a spray that's atomized. Now let's make it a little more aggressive. Uh, still super hydrophobic. So I guess that's pretty freaking cool uh, that it works on the stove top. So we'll have to put it to the test and see how it holds up to mess. And uh, we're gonna make a mess in this video. The glass, doing okay, pretty hydrophobic. Not as much as the art to shine though.
Welcome to the wicking, wicking, wicked auto detailing cooking part of the channel. We are gonna sear up some chicken breasts here. And I'm just gonna, uh, oh, oops. Oh man, my girlfriend's looking at me like this guy is freaking crazy. But uh, we're gonna purposely make a mess here so we can see how well it works cleaning it up later. So I have my ripping hot pan here, hoping that oil's gonna spray everywhere and that we're gonna make a real mess, but also sear the chicken real nice. Prepare to hate me, uh, moms and housewives who cook and clean. I am making a massive mess. But unlike the normal uh, slob of a husband that you might be used to, I am going to clean up this mess. So let's see how easily it wipes off. All the uh, powdered seasoning that ended up on there did kind of harden on there and is not really coming off, just wiping with a towel. But everything else wiped up pretty good. And now that we're spraying where the mess is, you can see it's not really hydrophobic. So is that good? Is it bad? What's going on here? So we'll spray it down and we'll give it another wipe. That took off all the powder pretty easily. and now the hydrophobic properties have returned. And now the stove actually does feel really slick and really nice. So adding that second layer, I think, plus letting it cure a little bit, really made a difference. The whole purpose in doing this was just to demonstrate some home applications you can do, uh, and we'll see how well this holds up as well. Uh, Please tell me in the comments if there are any other uh, things you'd like to see uh, coded at, at home of the home application that we can experiment with and I'll make some videos. This is a couple days later, just doing a little hydrophobic test here before I had put this video together and everything seems to be working pretty well. So thank you for watching, hope you found this video entertaining. Again, uh, drop some other things in the comments that we could coat at the house, I'll make some videos. Uh, if you're not currently a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and most importantly, share it with your friends so we can grow this channel even bigger. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific time and check out Art to Shine Nano Graphene Coating.